Hey guys, how are we doing? It's uh, Saturday evening. Did some yard sailing this morning and uh, one of the towns by us had a town-wide yard sale and those are usually quite good because you can hit a whole bunch of them in a short period of time. Uh, without further ado, let's go see what we got. All right. A couple of little things for the garage. Uh, I wanted something to heat stuff up on in the garage and this was still new in the box. Just a double burner um, plate and uh, again that was whopping three bucks so I grabbed that and then I also grabbed uh, the old school camping stove and I grabbed this thing uh, because of this tank that's in here I want to make a bike using one of these as a fuel cell and uh, again if I find them cheap and it was a couple of bucks it's probably again three dollars I paid for this two dollars something like that just for the tank and uh, actually the grill's quite clean I don't think it's ever been used but it'll be uh, that kind of victim uh, other stuff that I got is another one of those lights because when you get old you get blind and these things have the magnifying glass on them with a light bulb on the back side of them so they make uh, life a little easier and the next item I got was this uh, it's a little tiny wood lathe and again there's the size of my hand give you an idea of the size of the lathe and it says it's made by Dremel and uh, in the garage, it came with a bunch of carving tools for doing whatever little wooden spindles you're going to be making out of it. But uh, again, for four bucks, I decided to grab it. And I found a set of uh, motorcycle riding boots, brand new in the box. And you guys don't remember, I, uh, the cabin got broken into and I had a set in there and they stole them. No, they're not the same ones. <laughs> uh, these are actually even nicer. They, they lace up like... Um, uh, ski boots so nice set of those I believe I paid 10 bucks for these they don't look like they've ever been used so I grab those and another piece would be uh, this scooter here this was actually at the same place that had the um, the boots and uh, it's a I don't know what the hell it is I don't know if that's the name of the, the bike or what Moss mosquito, right? Because it sounds like one, and it's got all these Sobe looking emblems all over it. So I don't know if that's just a you know a knockoff of you know like a name for it, or is it actually called Sobe or what it is. And it's got a little 26 cc motor on it. I do know it's missing the uh, just the air cleaner uh, cartridge that goes on the end of it, but it's got good compression. I didn't check for spark, but for 10 bucks, I figure I'd grab it and go through it. I don't know what these things are worth, but uh, gotta be worth something, right? So there's that. And uh, while I'm in here, a guy had these clocks. Uh, this one was already opened, but there's the inside mechanism of them. You want to see? And they're made in the USA. And they're double sided. So there's a clock on each side. Is this a simplex? And they're like a, um, uh, I forget what they said. They're out, out, out in front of a bank, I think they were. And uh, there was one of them. Uh, it was 25 bucks, I figured. He said it. He promised me it worked. I said, okay, I'll take it. And with that, <laughs> came another one I, I actually have two of them for the 25 bucks uh, this one's got a little bit of overspray on it but again the same idea glass lens on it and uh, made by simplex and they're fairly large they, they got to be I'm gonna say that's an 18 inch dial maybe 20 something like that and again double sided on on those also and the base is all cast so it's a well-built units what I'm gonna do with it I don't know <laughs> and then um, I've been grabbing these bikes when I see them the um, the old OCC stingway you know the, the Schwinn chopper looking bikes uh, this one's a little bit of a better one because it's got the front foot pegs and the front wheel has the wide spindle that's on them but uh, I think they're asking 30 I paid 20 bucks for that. And uh, worst case, I could just stick it in front of the driveway. I think I'd be able to flip it for you know, 80 bucks or so if I don't want to do anything with it. But I do have about four or five of these in waiting to get cut up and made into stuff. So, uh, you know, the back tire alone is kind of worth that to me. And then I got 
all these bags you guys know I grabbed the pellet stove and uh, I grabbed all these bags of pellets what we got four in that pile four eight nine ten say roughly ten bags uh, that was 20 bucks and you guys are gonna say 20 bucks that's about what they go for right yeah but uh, I came with something else that's what I came with yeah another pellet stove um, I haven't looked into it too much but it was people who bought a house this was on the third floor and uh, the third floor is where their daughter's room that was going to be. She was probably like 13 or something. And they were like, no way you having a pellet stove up there. They're afraid they were going to burn up to death with her up there. And they removed it. And the pellets were in there too. So uh, everything was 20 bucks. So I am thinking that uh, I may install one in the house. And of course, one's going to go in the garage. Uh, again, I have to look this one up and find out what the BTUs and everything are on it. It doesn't really tell me anything there. I'll try to find a name. So I gotta look it up and find out who it is and, how, and what kind of BTU it is. But it looks in decent shape. It was it was functioning in the house, and for 20 bucks, you know I brought that sucker home with me. And what else do I got? I got one more item. Let me find us the right key for the other garage. I'll take a walk out. I just got back from a uh, a cruise night. It skips. Had a good time. And last but not least. I'll grab this sucker. How well the lighting is. You can put the light on on the camera. How's that? Now nah, you put the light on. Yeah. I grabbed this. Uh, 16 inch motor uh, bandsaw it's a wood bandsaw uh, but what I like about it is it's got that nice deep throat to it so I guess this is probably how they're measuring it it's probably 16 inches from here to here uh, I want to see if I can convert it over the metal which is basically just putting a metal blade on it and seeing if I could slow it way down but it's a decent unit uh, came with an he threw in a motor just wanted to get rid of it There's another motor down there uh, for whatever and then it came with a whole bunch of different blades and attachments and whatnot. Owner's manual, I think, is in here for it. And then here's those um, those carving tools for that. Um, these are the carving tools for the uh, that little lathe that was in there. So all in all, I would say it's been a pretty good haul. I can't complain about that, you know. And again, if I end up not using this, I'll just uh, get rid of it and flip it. But uh, again, it was made in Canada, so it's not a, a Chinese piece of crap, you know, it's a, that's a decent unit. And the guy just never used it. So, uh, uh, 20 bucks is what I paid for this also. I think it has a half horsepower motor on it. And again, if I can gear it down, it should work fine, so. All right. So that's what I was able to find. Uh, tomorrow may or may not be raining, and there is a motorcycle show. And the show that I was at today had about um, uh, 10 people come up to me and ask me if I was gonna bring the, the board track racer to that show. So I may try and do that, it's fairly local. And uh, see how that goes, weather permitting. And one la last item I did get was this uh, four person bike rack. A friend of mine was looking for one, and I called them up, and they said they wanted 25 bucks for it. It's a decent one. I forget what the name is on it, but it's uh, quite nice. And uh, so I grabbed that for him. But that's not mine. That's uh, going to somebody else. But uh, you know how that works. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Ooh, the light. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. And I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye.